roughly $32 million a week off of that slave trade that this administration has been supporting. This is our obligation. Everybody Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. I'm your host, Corral Lajada. A couple of live events that we're waiting to showcase for you here. We're not doing it. office and they continue to get worse. We've had record amounts of illegals that have been entering our country, both those that have been detected and had encounters with law enforcement and the several million that have come in without even making an encounter with law enforcement, which creates a grave danger. The law enforcement officials down on the southern border no longer call this an immigration problem. They call it a slave trade problem. I've talked to them personally. Every single person that comes into this country illegally has got a financial obligation to pay to the cartel. That's a lie. What he just said right there, he said every single person that enters into this country illegally is part of some slave trade. That is a goddamn lie. These are a bunch of, these are a bunch of goddamn liars! And they're being forced into slavery and servitude for years to come. We've got fentanyl problems. Shootings, robberies, burglary, and overall crime were all down in 2023. That progress does not simply happen with... And this is why people in our country are curious about They're curious with Congress over spending. They're curious about the we have 34 trillion dollars of debt. We added a trillion dollars of debt. Right? That have come in without even making an encounter with law enforcement, which creates a grave danger. The law enforcement officials down on the southern border no longer call this an immigration problem. They call it a slave trade problem. I've talked to them personally. Every single person that comes into this country illegally has got a financial obligation to pay to the cartel, and they are being forced into slavery and servitude for years to come. A day. If we had a large jet go down with 350 victims inside of it, the, the United States government would ground those aircraft. We saw them ground the aircraft last week because they door blew off, and fortunately, we never lost a soul. But if 350 deaths a day were taking place, they certainly would. And yet, they turned the other way. We've got terrorists that are entering our country. Last week, before the House of Representatives went down to Eagle Pass, there were 10,000 illegals that had been herded up together. And I talked to CBP, and they said that there were 200 people of special interest that were amongst that group. They were trying to get additional information. They wanted to vet them. They wanted to find out where they came from and what they were planning to do once they got into our country. And they were whisked away and distributed around our country, just like the other 10,000 remaining illegals were. Again, this is an imminent national security threat. And at the same time all that is taking place, we have cartels that are being enriched. In the Del Rio sector alone, they're making roughly $32 million. And while this, while, while he is going and going ahead and demonizing every one of these illegals and, and he is making connection between them and cartels and how the cartels, he actually said, this man said that the cartels are, that every, every illegal, every person entering over our border illegally that they are in debt to uh, organized crime, you know, figures in, you know, a cartel. Uh, they're in Mexico or South America. That they're they're in uh, they're in debt to them. He said that, which was a lie. It's uh, so many lies. But the thing is that so many of our elected officials, they only got into office because of the contributions from people that right now are employing illegal aliens and they have been for years for decades these people have made their fortunes off of the backs of illegal aliens but our politicians they turned a blind eye and willfully put their hand over their other eye and pretended not to see imagine this they have to spin they have to spin this narrative they have to create this narrative that demonizes all of these people that are coming here and yet our fellow Americans are the ones that have put the, put the lure out there. They're, they keep the lure out there. So this is, this is something that those people see as uh, salvation. 
coming up here, being able to make, you know, so much money, send it back to their families to provide a better life. Now, I'm not saying that it's the illegal people entering our country is by, I would never give that a pass. That's not a pass. But these politicians who now create this narrative to demonize them, and while they give the, the people that are employing the illegal aliens, they give them impunity. And there's not a mention, mention of them. In anything they say, they will not say about anyone that's hiring illegals. All they'll talk about is stopping all these people that now that they're all entwined in organized crime and drugs. And yet it is our own fellow Americans that have created this. And it's these people, these politicians, that have perpetuated it. And not a shell grant of a duty.